Hi, this is an update on the More XY um, printer that I'm building. I thought it was about time to um, show you what's changed. Uh, I've done a rebuild, as you can see, the um, MGN 9 uh, mil, uh, 9mm linear rails are now on the top side of the aluminium extrusion for the Y axis. And there have also been a few other changes on top. Uh, we've now got a 12mm uh, linear rail across the middle and we've got a carriage which now um, fits that and the uh, belts run underneath and there's a nice little tension adjuster with two M3 bolts that goes through there and we've still got the Titan extruder with the Volcano in I've gone for optical end stops which is the first time I've used those so these little um, flaps here to construct the the light beam uh, and the optical end stop on this end is here. On this side we've uh, now got an ATX power supply ready to go. Uh, I'm going to start off with uh, ramps uh, and the Mega, though I have backed the rearm Kickstarter um, project so hopefully we'll get something with a bit more oomph to go in instead of the Arduino on that. As you can see, there's a great big piece of plywood in there which is uh, forming the platform that I'm going to put my heated bed on. And if I tilt this up, um, you should be able to see what I've got for my Z-axis mechanism. So this isn't complete, um, but what I went for is um, a 8mm diameter, 2mm lead, a trapezoidal uh, threaded uh, stainless steel rod and brass nut, not anti-backlash and on the bottom we've got a 60 tooth um, GT2 pulley and you can see there's a grub screw attached to uh, rotate with the um, the uh, trapezoidal lead screw and then underneath um, we've got some quite big taper bearings which will take the the, the um, vertical weight pressing down on those We've got those in three places. They're all held on top with, that's the best place to show you, um, just a 608 skateboard bearing, 22mm outer diameter, 8mm inner diameter, held in place just to stop stuff slopping around and keep everything vertical. And those are driven by this uh, stepper motor here. Uh, that's not going to focus. Oops, that's better. There we go. Um, and that can be slid along that that um, extrusion there to adjust the belt tension. Um, although now, because I've got three of those, what I'm hoping is that I won't need to go for uh, software um, bed leveling uh, because I've used that on my current Core XY, and it's good, but it involves a lot of up and down. Um, during the print for the, the nuts and I think that the brass nuts are wearing um, as a result um, so if I can get it mechanically leveled um, initially by adjusting the individual lead screws uh, and then uh, hopefully avoid having to have a um, bed leveling uh, in the software um, I think that could be a good way forward so that's why I've gone for three because that will make um, bed leveling easier now um, the, the plywood bed is pretty rigid actually um, the bearings at the top are going, doing a good job of stopping it from moving uh, left and right and rotating however um, because we've got some leftover uh, linear rail from um, the inadequate 9mm um, high wind that was on top for the X gantry um, that's going to go and there'll be a bracket that attaches that to there I'm going to go for something on this, the other side, over in that corner as well, and that should hot stop it all from um, translating left, right, backwards, forwards, uh, or rotating either, so a little bit more stability. Now, what I would like is if people in the comments could say whether you want me to just go get another um, 9mm MG9, um, or whether you think it's worth um, buying a 15mm to see whether that's better on the um, on the X gantry because this is 
you probably can't see it. It's there's a tiny bit of wobble, which again I'm getting some um, thicker plate here because I appreciate that some of that that wobble is going to be in the twisting of of the um, the, the aluminium flat. Um, but I just wondered whether people are interested in me doing a quick comparison between um, the wobble you get from a 12 mil um, linear rail and a 15 mil. So if you would, the 12 mil can get relegated down to that corner. I'll make a, a cutout so that it, so that the, um, the the carriage fits behind it because this this nine mil one's pretty flush. Um, and then we can get to see. Or if no one's fussed, um, don't mention it in the comments, and I'll just go and order another um, nine mil one for the far corner. I hope that's um, been interesting. If you've got any more questions, just stick them in the comments, and I'll try and answer them.